I've always been into reading and I did never have an education over books. I had to just find them myself. And I went to Foyles in Charing Cross Road in London. Great bookshop, quite oldy worldy and it's on many floors. And right up on the top floor in the attic where the interesting books were, the esoteric books, uh, things that were on hidden stuff, this is where you could find it. And I picked up David Icke's book and what intrigued me about it, first of all, was the title, The Truth Vibration. And at that point where we were, with metaphysical ideas and um, consciousness being raised, was at that level we knew it was something to do with a vib vibrational frequency. And he was the first to put that into words for us or helped us to formalise it and understand it. And um, I loved that book. And I loved it that much. Uh, David Icke, he explained to us colour uh, therapies and um, how things are on a different frequency. We only see a very small amount of colour. There's a massive range behind that, which is switched off to us. Not for long, though, or much longer. And um, one of his things was to tell you that the GOG colour, or the, the highest vibrational colour that lifted your frequency into the perfectness of bliss and marvellousness was turquoise. And um, I loved it, I loved turquoise. And I legged it and I went out and I thought, right, I'll paint the house turquoise. So I got myself a nice big tin of paint and I got stuck in, but I made the classic mistake. I painted myself into a turquoise corner. What else interested me about that book was the way he found his own way to it, where, you know, his life was in turmoil, he was at a crossroads and he didn't know whether to carry on. He knew that TV was vacuous and that wasn't the way for him to go. And I think he didn't have any money, he was on his uppers and um, he just trusted the life force and went with the instinct. And he was in a shop in Brighton and he looked in this shop window, a, a bookshop, and there was a book on spiritualism. He got the book, he loved it, and he said, right, I'm going to go meet the little old lady who's written the book. And she was a spiritualist, a bit like Dodda Stokes, you know, and David goes in to see her, and uh, she starts to get a visitation for him, and you think it's going to be his Auntie Nelly or something like that, you know, one of his old dears who's passed over. No, it was Socrates, and it was Plato. The big boys came in and told David, you know, that we're going to pass all of this information through you. Um, you're gonna, it's going to be like rock of fuel to you and it'll knock you off your feet for a bit. But there's certain places you've got to go. And he explained where he was going and he had to go to um, Peru. And he didn't know consciously the full reason why he was going there. He was reacting to, you know, this um, uh, channel and session and what he instinctively knew himself. And he went over there and he was performing ritualistic healing to the earth. You know, he was there and if you pick up true vibrations now and what he explains as well in human race, get up off your, your knees, the lion sleeps no more. And he explains it much better in there. And then over the years, I've um, followed his work and I'll always look at his website because he's not making the news. He's collecting the news that very few of us get to see. Well, it's an expanding readership now. I like where he's took the, the troop vibration now because he was only getting an early scratch on it, you know, the beginnings of what was opening out. And now, He's applied his experience and his consciousness to it and work, helped us to work it out too. And it's a really exciting period he's put us on to. There's loads of dark shadows that you'd have to pass through first, but you don't dwell there. You'd accept that that's going on and it's a polarisation. And as things um, may get worse, on the opposite side, it gets brighter and more love. And the heart, um, our heart, begin to expand and love blossoms and I think that's what David points out more than he points out the um, the machinations of the control system and don't forget there's lots of us you know there's lots and lots and lots of us <laughs>